mo magandang umaga. Amen. Diyan sa tao sa likod mo, kapatid, magandang umaga. Kung siya ay visitor, you are welcome. Amen to the Rema Word of God Church. Amen. Bago po tayo magumpisa, maaari ko bang imbitahan ng bawat isa? Hindi muna tumayo. Ano po? Tayo magpanalanginan. Amen? Amen? Tayo magpanalanginan. Sige, kumuha po kayo ng kapartner ninyo, babae sa babae, lalaki sa lalaki, o kaya'y mag-asawa. Pagpalain nyo ng panalangin ng inyong kapatid. Amen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Sino po ba dito ang nagpunta dito dahil hinahanap mo si Lord? Taas nga po ang inyong kamay. Amen. Amen. Sa Panginoon, sa Biblia, merong kasiguruduhan na sagot ang Panginoon, di ba? Ang sabi doon, if you will seek Him with all of your heart, then you will find Him. Amen. The Lord is in this place. So come on, tayo po'y tumayo at magumpisa tayo mag magbigay papuri sa ating Panginoon. Hallelujah! We can clap our hands to the Lord today. Thank you, Jesus. Ikaw lang aming pupurihin sa sambahin at itataas sa lugar na ito. Ikaw lang, ikaw lang ating minamahal. Ikaw lang, ikaw lang Panginoon, sa iyo ay susunod, lagi magliligod. Sa iyo lang, sa iyo lang, aking Yesus. Sabihin mo sa Panginoon. Ikaw lang, ikaw lang, aking minamahal. Ikaw lang, ikaw lang, Panginoon. Sa iyo ay susunod, lagi magliligod. Kung po ay ialay lang sa iyo, Diyos nagpupuri Sa iyo'y nagahandog ng pangako Tanging ikaw lang O Jesus, O Jesus Aking Diyos Amen! Sa umagang ito, maaari ko ba makita ang mga kababaihan? Oh! Ang mga kababaihan Let's sing this song Ikaw lang, ikaw lang Aking minamahal Ikaw lang Lang, ikaw lang aking minamahal Ikaw lang, ikaw lang Panginoon 
You are blessed. You are deeply loved. You are highly favored. Amen. Pumuna tayo sandali. Sa umagang po ito, nais po natin magbigay ng tribute sa ating kapatid. Amen. Alam niyo po, ating kapatid na to ay gumraduate na. Amen. Siya po ay, meron po tayong papakita ng konting uh, uh, video, video, uh, video clips. Para po sa kanyang ano, ah, kay Sister Merly po. Okay, panoorin po natin sandali lang po.
dissipate in your embrace When your beauty I behold In my heart one thing I know Earthly things are hard and long Just to know you even more So let me pour my love on you Like fragrance from my heart And feel your love surround me as You wrap me in your arms Take me to your chambers Where your beauty's all I see to give you all of me Ooh. When I'm captured by your gaze The whole world Troubles I won't lose Dissipate in your embrace When your beauty I behold In my heart one thing I know Just to know you even more So let me pour my love on you Like fragrance from my heart And feel your love surround me As you wrap me in your arms Take me to to give you all of me So let me pour my love on you Like fragrance from my heart And feel your love surround me As you wrap me in your arms Take me to your chambers Where your beauty's all I see Praise the Lord. Palapakan po natin ng Panginoon sa buhay ni Sister Merle. Amen? Ayun po ba yung nagagalak ngayong umaga? Alam niyo po ba may kaya po yung may kanya-kanyang ano, penis race? Amen? Matatapos po natin lahat na ating gawain dito sa lupa. At alam niyo po ba si Sister Merle natapos niya? Sapagkat marami po nagpatotoon sa buhay ni Sister Merle, napakarami niya yung na-influensyahan. Amen? Meron siya na iwan na legacy. Amen po ba? So sa ngayong umaga po nito, tayo po magpasalamat sa Panginoon. Amen po ba? Amen po ba? Amen. Bago po tayo magpuri sa Panginoon, tayo po magsitayo yung lahat. Sige po. Babasahin ko lang po ang Psalm 34 verse 1 to 3. Sabi po dito, I will bless the Lord at all times. Amen. Ano sabi po sa Bible? Ano sabi sa Bible? I will bless the Lord. At all times. 
His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. And let us exalt His name together. Hallelujah. We glorify Your name, O oh God. We bless Your name, O oh God. Come on, let's praise Him. Use your mouth. Lift up your voices to Him. Come on, let's worship Him. Bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord, O oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless His holy name. I choose to worship you, O oh God. I choose to bless your name. Hallelujah. We give you glory. We give you honor, O oh God. Father, we welcome you in this place. For you are a good God. You are good all the time. Father, we thank you that you are faithful. You are great. Panginoon, dakila ka, Panginoon. Ikaw ang Diyos na hindi nagbabago, Panginoon. Ikaw ay napakabuti, Panginoon. Maraming pong salamat sa umagang ito, Panginoon. Kami po ay naggagalak at nagpupuri sa iyo, Panginoon. Ano man ang aming dinadaanan sa oras na ito, Panginoon. Father, we will choose to worship you, O God. My soul will worship you. We'll bless your name, O God, this morning. We give you glory. We give you honor. Father, we thank you, Lord, for the revelation of your mighty word. That will equip me, will equip us, O God, to do mighty things in this world, O God. We honor you, Lord, today. We give you praise. We give you glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Amen. 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 Woo! Oh! Amen. This is your chance to give the Lord your best praise. Amen. Amen. Kapag ka mga tao umuwi na sa Panginoon, Wala, doon na, doon na siya, amen? Di na maririnig. So ngayon, habang naririto kayo, nandito ka na lang din. Ibigay mo na ang the best para sa Panginoon. Amen? Ano man ang mga bagay na dinaranas mo, sabi sa Bible eh, uh, as long as the earth remains, don't see time and harvest will not cease. Pero don't, God's love and mercy are new every morning. His love endureth forever. Dito sa kakantahin, sa, sa kakantahin natin ang sabi doon, Your love is better than life. Amen? So ano man yung dinaranas mo, nakahirapan, kalungkutan, kapighatian sa buhay, God's love is still better than that. Amen? So come on, let's give the Lord our best praise. Let's clap our hands to the Lord today. Thank you, God. Oh, we praise your name. Yes, Lord. Your love is everlasting, your love is everlasting, it's an everlasting love. Your mercy is as new as every rising of the sun. When your loving kindness, loving kindness, set it alive. Oh yes, yes it is Lord. Your grace is all sufficient, it's an all-sufficient grace. Power and your glory are forever on this place. And your love and kindness, love and kindness, better than life. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's better. Oh, better than life. Yeah. Oh, so much better. Lord. There is not ten thousand, there 
got ten thousand of ten thousand you are there Nothing is world could ever measure or compare To your loving kindness Loving kindness better than life All your ways are just so long All your ways are just so long You're just in all your ways And I will lift my hands, so oh Lord, in gratitude and praise For your loving kindness, loving kindness, better than life Oh yeah, amen Oh, it's better, oh, better than life Oh, so much better Let's lift our hands to the Lord. He is good. He is better than life. Yes, life can be uncertain at times, but His love will never fail. That's why we sing. That's why we will continue to sing. Jesus, come on, let's sing it to God. Jesus, let's call on His name. Your loving kindness is better than life. Better than life is Sing Jesus Jesus Your loving kindness Is better than life is It's better than life Oh yes, thank you God Oh It's better, oh, better than life, yeah. oh, so much better, Jesus, your love and kindness, oh, it's better, oh, Your 
my trust in you, God. Sometimes I don't know what's happening around me. But then I put my trust in you. Amen. 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 Come on, let's give the Lord our best clap offering today. Oh, we can always put our trust in you, God. You are so faithful. You are so faithful. You are so good. Amen. 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 If God has been good to you, come on, Lord. Say, Lord, you are so good. Declare. Declare. Declare God's goodness in your life. Oh, magnify God in your life today. Magnify God in your life today. Oh, we magnify you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord. And we will not stop worshiping you, oh God, until the day we meet you face to face. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Father. We love you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. 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 We bless your name. We bless your name, God. We bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. We exalt your name in this place. We cannot be silenced. We will not be silenced. My song testify I will live and not die to declare I will sing of your great love I will stand in wonder of what you've done in this life with my
your, I will sing of your mercy. I will sing of your love. I will sing of your tenderness. Tell the wonders of. I will sing of your goodness. I will sing of your grace. I will sing of your holiness. Melodies of praise. I will sing of your mercy. I will sing of your love. I will sing of your tenderness. Tell the wonders of. I will sing of your goodness. I will sing of your grace.
we find peace and joy. We can rejoice. Ano man ang nangyayari sa aming buhay, kapaligiran, you are still a good God. You cannot be otherwise. Oh, hallelujah! Everything you do in our life is an expression of your love. Even death is an expression of your love and tender mercies. Hallelujah. Sinasamba ka namin sa lugar na ito. Hallelujah. You just commune to the Lord. Commune with Him right now. Hallelujah. Thank you for your mercy. Mercies that are new every morning. Thank you for your grace that is so rich, that is so full, that abounds. Hallelujah. That is so sufficient. Yes. Salamat po, O oh Diyos. Salamat sa iyo. You have lifted our burdens away today. We trust in you. We continue to believe in you. We continue to believe in your great love for us. In fact, the Lord said, I am so in love with you. He is so in love with us. He is so in love with us. Salamat po, O Diyos. Kinatag po mo ang aming puso kung ito man ay may lumbay. Although today we are mourning, Panginoon, the death of our beloved sister. We know that your plan for her is the best. And we will, we trust in you, Lord. We trust in you. Salamat po, Panginoon. Dalangin ko ang bawat isa sa amin. Panginoong Diyos, naa-amaze kami sa courage at strength na ibinigay mo sa aming kapatid. Aming pamamarisan, Panginoong Diyos. In her life and in her death, she glorified your name. Salamat po sa iyo sa pasambayan ni Brother Totti. We are one with them in their mourning. But Lord, we believe that in due time we will rise up and do greater exploits for you. Do greater exploits for you. Salamat po sa iyo, O Diyos. Narito ka sa aming kalagitnaan. Banal na Espiritu, have your way today. Allow me to express what you have placed in my heart. Hallelujah. Let the congregation draw it from me today. Let them draw it from me today. We thank you for the Holy Spirit that will guide us and will anoint our ears, that will anoint our eyes. And thank you, Lord, for opening our hearts today to receive from you. We give you praise and glory. Today, we will learn more how to walk by faith. We will learn more, O oh God, how to live, Lord, as the just. Salamat po sa presensya mo itong aming dalangin sa ngalan ni Jesus. Ang lahat ay magsabi ng Amen! 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 Hallelujah! Isang ang palakas na hallelujah! Glory to God! Parang sa akin, tapos na ang service. <laughs> Sobra akong napuspos. Amen! Praise the Lord! You're the best! You may take your seats. Hallelujah. Pwede po bang manyayahan ang mga panauhin? Meron po ba tayo mga bisita panauhin ngayong araw na ito? Glory to God! Pwede po ang gugwapo. Pwede po ba kayong tumayo at lalapitan po kayo ng ating... Wow! Sino po ang nagdala sa inyo? Yan, glory to God. You are welcome to the Rhema Word of God Church where Jesus is the living word. Lagi naming sinasabi yan, ang salita ng Diyos ay buhay. Amen. So, lapitan po ninyo sila at eh, wini-welcome po namin kayo. Sana ito ang simula pa lamang ng inyong pagdalo sa amin. You are welcome to the family of God in this church. Amen. Are you ready for the word? 
Sayang, na-miss ko kayo last week. Hallelujah. Father's Day. Ako ay father doon sa Isabela. Amen. Yung mga taga-Isabela po, nais nilang ipaabot ang kanilang pagbati sa inyong mga tatay. Happy Father's Day daw. Belated. Happy Father's Day. Okay, if you are ready for the word, buksan po natin ang ating Bible sa Proverbs 4.23. Sabay-sabay po tayong magbasa ng Biblia. Sabi po sa Proverbs 4.23, Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it spring the issues of life. Sabi po yan sa New King James. Okay, yung isa, yung NL, NNIV ba? Gusto ko yung NIV kung meron ba dyan. Above all else. Okay. Sa taas, sa pinakamahalaga, above all. Okay. Guard your heart for it is the wellspring of life. Napakaganda po kasi ang ating puso ang uh, kumbaga ay bukal na pinagmumulan ng ating buhay. Amen. At mamaya, alam natin na pagka ang bukal na ito, kung tayo po ay yung ating resort sa ano sa Riyal, napakaganda pong bukal no, napakaraming tubig. But if you will pollute the source, yung lalabas doon na tubig ay polluted. Amen. Kaya sabi sa Bible, guard, guard your heart. Keep it, uh, ki, ki, anuin mo, bantayan mo ang puso mo. Sapagkat lahat ng mangyayari sa buhay mo, at in fact, lahat ng nangyayari sa buhay mo ay produkto ng inilagay mo sa puso mo. What you have allowed to enter your heart, positive or negative, the heart will do its best to bring it out in your words and then in your life. Kaya napakahalaga. Ngunit gusto ko pong itake itong ano na to, context na ito po sa ating patuloy na pag-aaral patungkol sa pananampalataya. More than ever, ngayon ko na-realize kung gaano kahalaga sa buhay ng mga mananampalataya, sabi mo believers, the right way of believing. Amen. Kasi we can believe anything. But will it bring good in our life? Amen? Napakahalaga kaya ang tawag sa atin ay believers. Believers of the Lord Jesus Christ because we believe in the gospel. Amen? The gospel is a person. Jesus. The gospel is the good news. The good news message of the finished work of Christ on the cross. And everything that it accomplished for all men, because of God's love, grace, and mercy, walang excluded sa gospel. Amen. Everybody is included. Ano man ang religion mo, ano man ang kulay mo, ikaw man ay pandak, mahirap, payat, bungi. Amen. Para sa iyo ang gospel. Okay? At kung ito ay nag-exclude ng tao, it's not the gospel. If it excludes you from blessings, it's not the gospel. Amen. Kaya sabi ni Apostle Pablo, I am ready to preach the gospel. Amen. When when sabi niya sa Rome, I am ready to preach the gospel to you who are in Rome. And when he said the gospel, he placed a parameter of what he was going to preach. He will not preach just good advice. Amen. Amen. Hindi lang good advice how to become rich. Yan. How to overcome in life. Step 1, 2, 3, 4. Hindi po ganon. The Apostle Paul said, I will preach the gospel. And it should be preached. Amen. Alam nyo po, narealize ko in my, in my uh, years of ministry, maraming mga pagkakataon na hindi gospel ang pre-preach ko. May mga pagkakataon na pagka naiinis ako sa mga worker, ang pinipreachan ko sila. <laughs> Nare-review ko sila sa palpit. Amen. Ayaw po yun ni Lord. Amen. So ngayon po, ito po ay magandang balita. Uh, I've been ministering to you about righteousness, di ba? For the past weeks na nandito ako, nauunawaan natin. Sabi natin, for in this gospel, in this gospel is revealed a righteousness. Amen. Ang katwiran, right standing with God. 
Because this gospel reveals to us righteousness, our righteousness as believers of Jesus Christ, it carries power to change our lives. And the change will not be from the outside, but from the inward out. Amen. Yung sa loob. Ngayon po, gusto kong itakil yung kasi pinag-uusapan natin ang Bible faith, what is true faith, bakit lahat tayo, naranampalataya naman tayo sa mga bagay, bakit hindi nagkakaroon ng kaganapan, katulad nga nung nangyari sa ating kapatid, hindi ba siya nanampalataya? Amen. What, ha- what went wrong? Ano ang nangyari? Wala tayong kasagutan sa lahat ng tanong, but the truth is, the word of God is true and faith works. Ang, ang, ang pananampalataya ay nag-work. Ngunit meron ding sinabi sa Biblia sa Philippians 1, 20-26, kasabi, sabi ni Apostol Pablo, I can choose to live, I can choose to go to the Lord. Your life is a personal gift from God, and if you have a personal transaction with the Lord, Lord, kunin mo na ako, tapos na ang race ko, then you go. Because of God's tender mercies. Amen. Okay, so... Nais ko po bigyan pa ng kaliwanagan, I hope, makakita tayo ng mas marami pang revelation patungkol sa pananampalataya at kung paano natin ito ibubuhay sapagkat pinag-aaralan natin, the just shall live by faith or the righteous shall live by faith. And we know that we are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. So therefore, we are righteous. Walking and living by faith is exclusive. It's a monopoly. Gusto kong sabihin. It's a monopoly of the just. If you are the just, and you are fully persuaded in your heart that you are the righteousness of God in Christ, you will walk by faith and you will always be victorious in life. Amen. So, Therefore, ang paglakad po natin sa pananampalataya, maraming pagkakataon, hindi ko ma-explain. Hindi natin maipaliwanag kung paano fully. Ngunit alam niyo po, kasi ang, ang pananampalataya is a spiritual substance. And only the Spirit of God can reveal it to us. Amen? Basahin po natin sa, ngayong umagang ito, nais ko nabuksan natin ang ating mga pangunawa. Amen. Because I might be saying things to you that will confuse you. Amen. So let us ask the Holy Spirit to just enlighten us this morning. Sabi po sa, gusto ko lang pong i, ano to, kasi burden ko to sa puso ko. Okay? Uh, um, um, sabi natin, uh, kahapon, maraming mga bagay tayong misconceptions about the life of faith, about walking by faith. Kaya ang nangyayari, nakukonfuse tayo. Kaya hindi tayo makalakad. Ngunit meron akong gustong i-share sa inyo today from uh, Hebrews 11:1 to 3. Tignan po natin. Uh, regarding, pertaining to the life of faith. Sabi dito, ito yung ating definition ng faith, di ba? Pero this is how faith operates. According to the Bible, Hebrews 11:1 to 3, Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Ano ang substance? It is the title deed. Amen? It is the assurance. Okay, so kung may assurance ka, dapat wala kang duda. Meron ba tayo dito, pwede ba akong mag-request ng whiteboard at saka pen, at saka, tawag dito, yung whiteboard pen. Okay. Uh, okay. Sabi niya, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Amen? Ito daw ay ebidensya ng mga bagay na hindi nakikita. Paano ka magkakaroon ng ebidensya hindi mo nga nakikita? Ang ebidensya mo ay pananampalataya. Amen? Faith, trusting in God. Okay. For by, sabi niya, David, for by it the elders obtained a good testimony. Ay, ibig sabihin ng elders yung mga nauna natin, mga ama at ina natin sa pananampalataya. Verse 3. By faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God so that the things which are seen were not made of things which are visible. Alam nyo, nung isang araw, I don't know kung ano yun, siguro last week pa, merong revelation dito sa akin ng Panginoon nung sinabi niya, By faith, we understand. I used to think, Dati, lagi kong iniisip, for people to understand a thing, I have to give them a lot of information. 
Amen. Bibigyan ko sila ng maraming knowledge. mag ako ng maraming Bible verses at kaalaman sa kanila para nang sa ganoon ay ma-build up ang kanilang faith. Can you say, dyan lang sa gilid bro. Hindi kasi makikita yung ano eh. Hindi kasi makikita yung ano. Tama? Naku, kailangan kaya, kaya mahina ang aking pananampalataya. Wala akong masyadong alam sa word. Kaya mag-aaral ako ng mag-aaral sa word. Pero sabi ng Bible, by faith we understand. Until we believe, we cannot understand. Amen? Kasi for example, kaya nga napakahalaga, pagkata sa pananampalataya, it goes beyond our intellectual reasoning. It goes beyond human wisdom and human reasoning. Because to understand the things of God, first you have to have faith. Tama? Diba? Sabi niya, by faith we understand. Sabi niya, that the worlds were framed by the word of God. How can the world be formed without any raw material? Kaya nga sabi niya doon, by faith now, faith is the raw material of things hoped for. Itong mga ito, nakikita natin, yung mga computer, yung mga damit, lahat ng visible things nang galing sa invisible. Amen. Nang, pero sabi po sa Bible, ngayon, nare-realize ko, nung nagpipreach ang Panginoong Jesus, during His time, He did not preach for people to understand. Why? He preached in parables. Maraming ang taong hindi nakakaintindi. Even His disciples, tinatanong niya, ano bang ibig mong sabihin dito sa parable of the sower na ito? Hindi nila maintindihan. Amen? So, i-explain ng Panginoon. Ngayon ko na-realize, in order for us to understand the things of God, we have to trust the Word. We have to trust Jesus. You understand what I am saying because you are trusting that what I am preaching will add value into your life. But if you don't seem it trustworthy, you will not listen to me. Mel, Pakikinggan mo ba yung magtuturo dito paano tayo maging umaman doon sa entrep eskwela kung hindi mo makikita sa buhay niya yung sinasabi niya? And the moment na ginads mo yung tao na hindi ako titiwala dito, will you understand anything from him? No more. Only, kaya nga na ano ko, only the people who pursued Jesus understood the things of the Spirit. Only the people who love Jesus understood the things of God. Kaya brothers and sisters, ang faith, it goes beyond human reasoning. Gusto ko illustrate ito kasi ito naalala ko ginagawa namin ito noon sa San Miguel pagka kami ay nag-team building. Pag alam ninyo, huwag ninyong sasabihin na. <laughs> Meron po ako dito, uh, assuming meron po ako dito imaginary na box. Okay, imaginary box. Box na ba yan? Imaginary lang siya. Meron ako dito tatlong circle. Ipin natin dito. Okay, imaginary box. Ngayon, ang gagawin ninyo ay i-connect ninyo itong siyam na dots na to. Okay? Using four straight lines without lifting your hand. Connect the dots. Connect the dots. Hawag mo itong sasabihin, Mabel. Using four straight lines without lifting your hand. Pinaano ko to kay kay ano eh kay Nika sa bahay. Mula yata anong oras na kaganyan si Nika. Hindi ko ma'am si kaya ma'am si. Akala ko ba sa lutotorian ka? Oo, pero dalawa lang kami sa klase. Hindi joke. <laughs> okay, so ngayon sino ang magbo-volunteer? Volunteer. Alam mo? Alam mo yata eh. Ay, wag mo yung wag yung alam, wag niyo nakakaalam. Yung mga, itry nyo lang. Pastor Rey, mo? Hindi? Si Orly? 
Sino ang magta-try? Connect the nine dots, okay? Using four straight lines without lifting your hand. This is a subject of faith. Nag-aaral tayo sa faith. <laughs> ano? Going, going, gun? Sayang oras. Okay, ako. <laughs> o, oh, ikaw isa. Alam mo eh. Woo! Go, 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 Isaac! Man of faith! Yon, Nakita nyo? Ang ginawa niya, sinimulan niya dito. One, two, three, four. Para siyang kahit, ano? Ang faith goes beyond human reasoning. Isaac had to step out of the box twice. One, two. Amen? Ako naman, ang paggawa ko, iba. Sabi ko, sabi ko, one, two, three, four. Pwede rin. Baliktad lang, di ba? Alam niyo po, ang pananampalataya is going out of the box. And kaya po nagkakaroon tayo ng problema sa ating faith walk ay dahil sa mga belief systems natin that has boxed us over the years. Alam niyo po yung mga panan- paniniwala natin, belief systems na nagkulong sa atin. For example, ang number one na barrier ng ating buhay pananampalataya ay religion. Amen. It will box you. Iba box ka niyan. Kung nakabox ka, ikaw ay nakapreso. Wala kang kalayaan. Amen. Kaya ang religion, galit si Jesus sa religion. Religion is a curse. Amen. Religion is a curse. The religious people crucified Jesus because they did not understand the things that Jesus is preaching because they don't have an awareness because they don't want to open their minds. They don't want to go out of the box. Kasi meron silang nakabox sila sa loob Moses. Amen. Yung mga rituals na ginagawa nila, nakabak sila doon. Kaya nung dumating ang kanilang tagapagligtas, hindi nila maunawaan si Jesus. Instead of receiving the Savior, they crucified the Savior. Amen. Okay. So, ang sinasabi ko po, number one na dapat nating maunawaan, apart from yung ating ano, is na let us go out. Beyond, go beyond uh, human reasoning. Faith, true faith will challenge our limits. Alam mo yun yung kung nananampalataya ka ng kagalingan mo. And in the natural, wala ka lang alang na way. Kung kahit ano ang sabihin pa ng doktor, kahit ano pa ang sabihin niya. Going out of the box is just trusting God to do His work in your life. Amen? Kasi po, ang mga bagay na spiritual ay hindi po kayang ipaliwanag ng ating human reasoning or mind. Ilabas mo nga ang 1 Corinthians 2.14. Naulog yung aking ano yata. 1 Corinthians 2.14. Ah, sorry. Sige, 1 Corinthians 2.14 says, The natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, nor can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. Alam nyo po, ako ay lumaki sa relihiyon all my life. Ah, dahil religious leader ang aking tatay sa isang sekta. Ngunit wala po akong naunawaan sa mga salita ng Diyos. Kahit sinasabi nila na ito ay ang kanilang ipinapahayag, pero the moment I was born again at tinanggap ko ang Panginoong Jesus sa aking buhay, biglang nagliwanag sa akin ang Bible. Bigla akong naunawaan ang salita ng Diyos. Amen? So may nangyari sa aking puso na yun ang naging daan para maunawaan ko. Dumating ang Espiritu ng Diyos sa akin na siya ang nagtuturo sa akin ng mga bagay-bagay sa Spirit. Faith is a spiritual substance. We cannot understand it by our human reasoning. Amen. 
Okay. So, number one, yun ang gusto kong, we have to go beyond our natural senses. Okay? Meron nga isang, isang ano, isang atheist na nagsabi, cynical sa si editor A.S.L. mentioned, claimed na ang definition daw ng faith ay illogical belief in the occurrence of the impossible. It's true. Amen? <laughs> Totoo yun. Okay. So, sabi natin, faith will challenge your limits. Kung ending ka na, faith can still work. Kung nagtitiwala ka sa Panginoon. Amen. Number three, you must never allow your belief system to box you in. Example po ng belief systems natin. Uh, ang ating belief systems ay nakatanim po sa ating puso. Okay? Yan yung nakaugalian natin ng nakaugalian. Example. Example ko. Ako, pag nagagaling ako dito sa church, diretso ako sa bahay. Wala akong ibang pinupuntahan. Okay, Monday. Kailangan kong pumunta sa grocery kasi bibili ako ng ganito. So, pupunta ako sa church. Pagkatapos, pupunta ako sa grocery. Pupunta ako sa church. May gagawin ako dito sa church. Pagbaba ko, nasa bahay na ako. Ba't nasa bahay na ako? <laughs> kasi <laughs> naka-program ako na uuwi sa bahay. Kailangan kong bumili ng pang... The next day, kailangan kong punta ako sa church. Kailangan pag ko, bibili ako ng pangkulay ng buhok kasi nakikita na yung aking mga puti. <laughs> kahapon uli yan, kahapon uli. So, pagkatapos ng entrep eskwela at sa lahat ng mga ginagawa natin dito, interview ng mga sa school assistants, ang dami naming ginawa. Nung magkamalay ako, nasa bahay uli ako. Ay, teka, bibili pala ako ng pangkulay ng book. Alam nyo, nasa subconscious, hindi po ba? You live your life in your subconscious because you have a system, a pattern of living. At yan ay nakalagay sa inyong subconscious. At alam nyo po ba kung ano ang subconscious? Ang subconscious ay term na kinoy ng mga psychologists and ng mga psychiatrists na ang kahulugan sa Biblia ay heart. Amen. Ang mga pan ang mga paniwala natin sa ating lumang paninampalataya ay nakasiksik sa ating subconscious. Okay, at maliban na ito ay ating alisin, ganun ang pamamaraan ng ating paglakad sa pananampalataya. Example, akala natin ang paglakad sa pananampalataya ay kailangan nating sundin ang mga rules. Eh, akala natin, sabi natin, kailangan i-confess ko na i-confess. Okay, kailangan ay gawin ko ito, kailangan maglingkod ako, kailangan magpalago ako sa word, kailangan exercise ko ang aking faith muscles, kailangan ako ay lumuhod ng palo, ay, lum, ay, magmanalangin ng paluhod. Kailangan ako ang mag-overnight prayer. Kailang... Amen. 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 Hindi po ganun ang pananampalataya. Hindi po ganun ang pananampalataya. Amen. <laughs> Hindi yung lagi akong pupunta sa Rema, magsaserve ako sa Rema, maglilinis ako sa church, mag-worship team ako para every Sunday di ako mag a para lumakas ang aking pananampalataya. Wrong. Wrong lahat yon. So ano kayo ang pastora ang pananampalataya? <laughs> Sasagutin ko 'yan. Okay, 